Hail deputies. Hi, Mom. Uh, so I got my ticket home from Europe. I get back on June 6th, but it's a really late flight because that was the cheapest, so it gets in at midnight. But don't worry, I'll get a shuttle from the airport so you don't have to pick me up. Like, really seriously, you don't have to. Okay, so, love you. See you soon. Bye. This is a game that I got from Twitch. It's a single player story type game where it, you know it tells a story. I don't think there's any combat or anything like that in it. So apparently I've been away from home in Europe on some sort of trip. And uh let's see, this is Caitlin Greenbrier, Portland, 270. June 6, 1995. So this is 1995. All right. Okay, I can open the door. Grab Christmas duck. Press right mouse or left shift to examine held object. Move the mouse to rotate what you're doing. Okay. Um. Oh, there's a key. Press 1 or I to check the contents of your backpack. Alright. <clears throat> Caitlin Greenbrier. Uh, date of birth 12 December 73. Female USA. Uh... I can't read all the small print. Passport, national passport. So anyway, I am, this is me. Uh, Caitlin Greenbrier and I got a house key. And I got a boarding pass. It says departure Amsterdam destination. Portland's always in Amsterdam. Uh, I had a transfer at Cincinnati. And this is my Passaporto, and this is the map and journals. Okay, it's rather dark in this game. I'm gonna open the door. Oh, a flickering light, a little bit eerie and creepy. Open folder. Read invoice. Wellspring Movers. From Terrence Greenbrier, Forest Grove, Oregon. Destination Terrence Greenbrier, Boone County, Oregon. Or Oregon. I don't know why I'm saying Oregon. <clears throat> Oregon. Uh, description of shipped contents. Eight kitchen, five master bedroom, six child's bedroom, uh, ten library, four office. Wow, that's noisy and loud. Uh, 24 and 14 inch television. Uh, continued on attached worksheets. Grand balance, 2,750 boys. Dear Katie, Thank you. so much has changed, even just since you've been away. We moved into this house. I'm at a new school, and my big sister being gone for a year doesn't make it any easier. It doesn't feel real, but I'm not gonna let it phase me. I used to tell you everything, and if I can't do it in person, because you're off gallivanting around who knows where, I'll tell it to this journal. Just like I was talking to you. All right. Um. Bathroom. Hand soap. Well, if I need some soap, I know where to get it, right? Examine magazine. 
Freelancing tips and tricks from the pros, author magazine, Stephen King, 50 contests, critiques, the art of feedback, get published, the secret, blink page, how 20 top authors conquer it. Hmm. I don't seem to be able to, there's toilet paper, I don't seem to be able to open the magazine to see the, there's a box, cleansing powder uh, a box band-aids okay mm, okay mm, more band-aids okay if I need band-aids I know where to get band-aids this looks like towels <clears throat> Okay. Just what you would expect to see in a bathroom. We got some tissue. A drawer. Read note. Directions to work from new house. Left on Grabtree. What a name. Right on Bullhorn, exit on to 47 North, right on to 202 East, entrance on right, past Wage Road. Travel time, 1 hour, 10 minutes. Mm-mm-mm. Yeah, this is definitely 1995. No you know, app to tell you directions, no, uh, you know, things like that. Um, <laughs> there was something else that made me think, yeah, this is old, but I can't think what it was now. Um, right, we got... See, it says Janice Greenbrier, but I can't read Forestry Service. Um, serving Conservationist. Goodfellow High School. So, that must be Mom, Janice Greenbrier. I'm going to make sure that there's nothing behind the door. Alright, so we got a closet. Boy, they must be rich. This is quite a grand entrance, right? This is quite a um, large, expensive looking house. A skull. My old track trophy. Okay, so I was in track. Mm, any interesting books up here? Nothing in there. I want a flashlight. <laughs> I want to shed some light on the subject. Right, anything interesting over here? I can't see. Let's see, we got Boone County Telephone Director. Yeah, they they Telephone directories were a thing back in 1995. <laughs> I mean, now everybody just Googled everything, right? Read letter. Dear Jan. And, and letters were a thing back then, too, because people don't write letters anymore, or, you know, it's emails. It's so good to hear from you again. All this new house business sounds like Quite the adventure. Remember the little dorm room we shared freshman year? When we were miserable fantasizing about our dream homes? I always said I wanted a mansion. You said you just wanted a house in the woods. Look who got both. Somebody up there likes you. Or could use some of that magic. I could use some of that magic. Send me some lotto numbers. I'll play them. 
Seriously. I shouldn't be complaining about this good old split level we've had since Bob got transferred to Winnipeg. We just got new vinyl siding. Jealous yet? Let me know if you ever want to trade places. So how are the girls doing? Has Kitty left on her big European adventure yet? Speaking of jealous. Right back soon. I miss you, Rumi. Signed, Carol. Alright, so Mom had a friend named Carol, and this house is in the woods. Alright. <clears throat> Locked. Alright. Let's go over, over on this side. Hmm. Okay. Itinerary. Worldwide timetable. Effective 1994. Katie's departure. 7694. Flight 881. 1210 to Amsterdam. Okay. So I went to Amsterdam, and that looks like another telephone book. What's this? Sam. Daniel from the old neighborhood called. He wants to come see the new house. Call him back. Mom, Daniel is a total weirdo. The only reason I ever hung out with him in the first place is he had a Nintendo when we were little. <laughs> yeah, don't, don't call him. My messages. Sam. Sam. Hello. Sam. Where are you? Really? I need to talk to you. Please be there. Hi, Mom. Uh, so I got my ticket home from Europe. I get back on June 6th, but it's a really late flight because that was the cheapest, so it gets in at midnight. But don't worry, I'll get a shuttle from the airport so you don't have to pick me up. Like, really seriously, you don't have to. Okay, so, love you. See you soon. Bye. So, I had three messages. That's the three on the screen. So, so yeah, uh, answering machines were a thing back in 1995. <laughs> and these kinds of phones. <laughs> that were uh, cordless landlines. Hmm, busy signal, huh? Didn't even try to, um... All right, so... Me and my sister and mom and dad. So this must be mom, this must be dad. I don't know which one of the... Uh, this looks kind of like my... my my passport picture, so I'm gonna guess that's me. This is my sister. Alright. Press 2 or M to check the location in the house. Alright. Oh, I like that. It's telling me that's a locked door. Um, so here I am. And let's have a look. Uh, hey, it's one of the postcards I sent from Paris. <clears throat> Eight two ninety four. Hi, mom, dad, and Sam. So my sister's name is Sam, and I'm Katie. Okay, I'm in Paris. I have done many Parisian things, including. 
eating le petit déjeuner and wearing a beret. I'm going to have lots of film to develop when I get back. Sam, I'm bringing you back something from the Shakespeare Book Company, since you are my favorite sister. Love you all, Katie. One Arbor Hill, Boone County, Oregon. Uh, Le Petit Déjeuner, by the way, just means breakfast. See, we got a pack of cards. How do I turn them? I want to rotate them so that they're correct, correctly up so that I can read it. Oh, a catchy playing cards. Okay. Alright, anything else? Oh, obituary. Oscar Doc Mason, 60, of Boone County. Died peacefully last month in his home. Dr. Mason was born on September 8, 1933, in the house that would be his home for the rest of his life. He attained his degree in pharmacy at a young age and returned to Boone County to practice. He quickly became a well-loved figure at the center of the community. In the decades preceding his passing, he was seldom seen outside his home. A service will be held this Sunday at the First Methodist Church at 1 p.m. All are welcome. His survivors include his nephew, Terrence Greenbrier, as well as, in spirit, the people of Boone County to whom he provided wellness and comfort. So let me guess, Terrence Greenbrier is probably my father. Right? And maybe we inherited this house from your old uncle? That's gonna be my guess. Grab photo. Um, okay. Alright, maybe this is my little sister? Nothing on the back. Um, okay, obviously in the military, so I don't know if this is me or my sister Sam. I'm just not sure about that. And I don't know how to put something in my inventory. It seems like mostly if I click on something, it just picks it up, but not puts it in my inventory. Gotta check all the places for things. What's this? Uh, read crumpled note. Hey, are you the new girl, Sam? I'm Tommy. I'm at the back behind you. Wave. If you get this and write back. Hi Tommy, yes, I'm Samantha and yes, I'm new. What's up? So this is the 1995 version of texting. For all of you that want to know. <laughs> I just thought since you're new, maybe you could use a friend. I don't have a lot of friends either. And so... I thought I'd ask something if you don't mind. Do you mind? Yes or no? No, I don't mind. What did you want to ask? Uh... Was it just your uncle who went cycle, or does it run in the family? Ah, so the uncle was a psycho. And so that, hey, did I just hear a voice? So the uncle went psycho. Let me guess, he killed, he killed the whole family and I'm a ghost, right? I did hear a voice. Residents are strongly urged to stay indoors and secure all windows and doors. Blood conditions are expected at lower elevations. 
Or maybe everybody was killed except me. Or else I was also killed and I'm a ghost. I'm gonna go with that's gonna be like the id gay, right? <laughs> Severe weather warning. Western region. Stormwatch. Examine book. This is a severe weather warning. Making friends, even when you... Sam thought this might help Dad. So Sam was having difficulties making friends at school. Feeling lonely? It's a piece of cake to make friends. Never worry again about having friends to spend time with. This book will teach you to make friends even when you're shy. Making friends even when you're shy. You know that feeling? Where the first moment you see someone, it's like they have a big gold star around them, and you have to get to know them. Well, there's this girl. I think she's a senior. She's usually dressed kind of punk, but sometimes I see her in this, like, army uniform, and she's always drawing in this notebook, looking so intense. I had no idea how I would ever, like, have an excuse to talk to her. Till I noticed she and her friends hang out and play Street Fighter at the 7-Eleven every day after school. Hmm. Let's see. Serving size 6, fluid ounces, 2 servings per container, calories 104, Protein zero, carbohydrates twenty two, fat zero, sodium five milligrams. Contains less than two percent of the US RDA of protein, vitamin A, vitamin C, thiamine, riboflavin, niacin, calcium, and iron. Contains triple filtered carbonated water, artificial color, and flavor, malic acid, potassium benzoate as a preservative. It sounds perfectly dreadful. <laughs> David Wernin, Hi Fi Aficionado Magazine. Hi, Terry. So, th here we get Terry, as this in Terrence, which was the, the nephew, so I'm guessing that's dear old dad. In close, please find a Pioneer blah, 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 unit with remote and cables. We need a half. Page review for the October issue. So that gives you about two weeks to get us the copy for edit. Standard stuff like he gave us on the blah, blah, blah. It's a combi player, so check it. It's CD playback with a few discs, as well as a laser disc, and they want us to definitely hit the signal to noise ratio and toss link stuff for high end fires. Looking forward to your take on it. Enjoy the unit. So yeah, back in 1995, CD, um, you know, VCRs were, were still around, and the, the CDs were coming onto the market. Can't, uh, okay. Free shipping label. <clears throat> Terrence, Greenbrier. Yep. Pretty sure that's Dad. Oh, pizza. No pizza left. Coaster, okay. TV listing. The X Files. <laughs> Circle. Uh, this is what they were watching in 1995. I don't remember. I didn't watch much TV back then. Residents are strongly urged to stay indoors. It's mom's and old work mug. Blood conditions are expected at lower another elevation. coaster. Okay. And a newspaper. Oh, hey, I got a coffee table. It has, like, drawers like this on it. This is a severe Grab a button. Brat mobile. Okay. Rain conditions affecting the following counties: Austin County, Boone County, Don County. And That's good old VCR tapes. Residents are strongly urged to stay indoors. X Files season one, episode 18 to 21. Yes, record all your favorite stuff. 
onto the VCR tapes. Video tapes. <clears throat> Examine book. Well, I already examined that book. Okay. Now, it said that I had some stuff in my inventory. Let's have a look. This is a severe weather warning. The Northwest so Weather got, Service reports high winds um, and torrential rain conditions affecting the following counties Austin County, Boone County, Dawn County. So, this the is what County, uh, the voiceover County. was saying. And so, I have it to stay in the Your journals. Sam journal. Are expected at lower elevations. All right, I don't need to hear that TV going on and on. Um, read story. A plus. The heaven at the edge of the world. Samantha Greenbrier. Grade. Two story the turtle people part one. Hmm. I tried to Okay. Captain Allegra looked off at the ocean. It went on forever. Or so it seemed. Someday she would find the edge and get to the paradise there. Then she heard a cannon fire. Boom! It was the black pirate ship. She yelled, I thought we lost them at Horse Island. The first mate said, Looks like you thought too soon. The black ship came up along the side. Captain Black himself came out on the deck of the black ship. He yelled to Captain Allegra, You're never gonna find the age. There ain't no paradise, and your father were a liar. Captain Allegra yelled back, Then why do you keep following us, you imbeciles? The first mate yelled out, We'll stop you, Captain Black. We'll find the end of the world, and you'll see her father was no liar. The battle kept going until Captain Allegra's ship got away. Now west, she said, and the ship sailed towards the sunset. Mmm... And so that's Sam's story, grade two. Well, let me tell you, she's a mighty fine writer at grade two. Because grade two, I was still learning how to read and write. <laughs> Alrighty. <laughs> Maybe she had hooked on phonics or something. <laughs> Okay, it's too dark. Let's see. The Andromeda Strain. Yeah, that's a movie I wanted to like, but when I would start watching it, I just got bored. Um, let's see. We got The Time Machine and Fantastic Boys. So, sci-fi lovers here in this house, I would say. They like The X-Files and Airplane and Moonraker. Yeah. Uh, let's see, I thought there was something I could click on here. Oh, it's the lamp. It's that book Dad wrote. <clears throat> the Accidental Savior. Terrence Greenbrier. So now we have confirmation that Dad was Terrence Greenbrier. November 21, 1963, John Russell knows that the President's life hangs in the balance. But who would believe him? Not just another James Bond from T. Wells, author of the of Mummy. And Nicholas Wolfe says a high class political thriller from Mercury Books. Yes, indeed. So Dad was an author, and he wrote also wrote articles like techy articles for some magazine. And, uh, grab cassette. Insert tape.
wonder if this is gonna give me a copyright strike. <laughs> I think I've heard enough of that. It says role model and Girl Scout. I was hoping that maybe I could flip it over and get a different. Um, you now it's the same song no matter how you hold it in your hand. It's only got the one side. All right, let's continue. Eraser, pin, bunch of coupons. Save uh, twenty five cent. Tortilla chips. Examine pamphlet. United States Department of Agriculture, U.S. National Forestry Manual. So yeah, mom works for the conservation, the uh, agency or something. Northwest region prescribed burn procedures and cautions. And we live in the woods in a mansion. see a way that I can open the book to see the prescribed burn procedures. We have a nice little painting. More coupons or more tortilla chips box, dice, lip balm, yes, cherry stone, read note, Katie, please tell mom and dad, sorry about the stuff that's missing, um, highlighter, okay, I wonder what stuff is missing. Uh huh, the note in there. Hi, Lonnie. <clears throat> so, if you wanted to come over to my house still this afternoon, that would be cool. I can drive. It's kind of far, but I can drive you home too. So hopefully that's fine. Write back and leave this in my locker if you still want to, and we can meet in the parking lot after six. And Lonnie writes, yeah, I am totally in. See you there. Then I'm gonna kick your butt. Get ready. And he has a little drawing there. It looks like he is Throwing something at her. All right. So you know what they say about the best light plans of mice and men? Yeah, turns out it applies to Street Fighter too. At least I worked up the courage to walk into the 7-Eleven and ask for a turn, but all that practice at home did not exactly translate in the wild. So after I was finished getting my butt kicked, I followed them outside while they smoked. And that was when she asked me if I was that psycho house girl. But then she said she's always really wanted to see the psycho house. Her name is Lonnie. She's coming over tomorrow. Wow. Okay, please, whatever you found, don't tell mom and dad. The attic. Something in the attic then? Locked door again. 
Alright. I don't know, in my house, we didn't really have locked doors. Unless someone was inside. You know, they only locked from the inside, not the outside. So that you couldn't lock... Uh, you couldn't lock them if you weren't in there. The Dave Brubeck Quartet. Folder. Read assignment. Reproductive System Worksheet 6. Below are two stories. The events are all out of order. Get a sheet of lined paper. Write Reproductive System Worksheet number 6 at the top. And choose one of two stories and rewrite it. Begin with the title and your name. So, okay. <clears throat> this is Samantha Greenbrier, period four, health class. Mrs. Myers, reproductive system worksheet six, the menstrual cycle, and novella. The early morning of September 1st, 1937. Essa Glatz stares out the window of the train as it travels from Vienna back to her home village of Violin in Poland. As the train rumbles along and the sun rises over the countryside, she can only think of her dear Borislav, the boy she's engaged to wed. Meanwhile, deep within her guts, an ovum starts to develop. As this train approaches its destination, her heart races. The lining of the uterus is getting thick and soft. <laughs> As Essa stops off the train, her eyes start quickly across the gathered crowd. Then there, her dear Boris, still in his baker's smock, he must have dropped his early morning duties at his father's shop to come meet her. Her heart skips a beat ovary releases the ovum. It travels through the fallopian tube. Over the wheezing of the steam engines, a deep hum grows. It's coming from the sky. Dark shadows pass over the station. A whistling sound. Essa, her thoughts only a second faster than the bombs, reaches out towards her dear Boris across the crowd. Their eyes lock and the moment freezes. The flash and smoke envelops him almost instantly. Sad. In the assault by German forces, almost 75% of the people in her hometown are killed. The rest, including Essa and for a time Borislav, huddle in a half-destroyed church. He is blind, his legs are missing, bandaged with torn bedsheets. Essa's egg will not be meeting a sperm. It dissolves. About two weeks later, Boris loses his grip on life. Essa has given up her rations to keep Boris alive. But in, in the end, nothing can save him. Since the lining of the uterus is not needed for a pregnancy, it comes out through the vagina. Essa vows to survive. She sets off to join the Polish resistance. As a daring spy and saboteur, another ovum starts to develop in one of the ovaries, and the process begins again. It's incredible how the female body knows how to prepare for pregnancy. And it looks like the teacher wrote, See me. I would say that um, Sam is a little traumatic, possibly depressed. Uh, I don't think she likes this new place that she's come to live in. She's having trouble adjusting. It's world history. Treeful academic publishing. Okay, we got a newspaper and a pencil. Oh, an old steel record.
to spend less time with those games. No hurry returning it. Let Samantha know that she is welcome back to our house to visit anytime. Sincerely, Mary Schultz. Ah, so the parents overrode Samantha's desires and had this. When you live in one place your whole life, your next door neighbor is kind of like your default friend. And Daniel only got weirder over the years. So moving away has been a good excuse to, like, not see him anymore. But he did always have the good Nintendo games. Maybe I'll give him a call. So, Danny was weird. Hmm. The Accidental Briar. Bunch of books. Bunch of dad's books that he wrote. What is that? Mm, I'm not sure. Okay. Let me just, um, oh, I can zoom in if I hit the shift key. Alright, did I already, that one's locked. Okay. Being able to zoom in on stuff is going to help because then I can, um, read stuff more easily. Alright. I got a locked door. Is this one locked? Nope. Hmm. I have a telephone call. I don't know who it is, though. Hmm. Huh. All right. A green lamp. Okay, we got some highlighters, a pen, examine paper. Uh, Pioneer combination laser disc slash compact disc player. Manufacturer suggests retail price a nine hundred and ninety nine. Thousand dollars and ninety nine cents. Why wow, it's expensive? They say that a jack of all trades is a master of none. I have to disagree. Mastery is not a question of specialization, but sureness of purpose and dedication to craft. If you happen to be in the market for a combination laser disc slash CD player, you'd be glad to know that Pioneer seems to share this particular. So it's an unfinished article that Dad is working on, I imagine. He needs to vest in a chair. What do we got here? Okay, let's see. I can do shift to zoom in. Back to basics. Send back. Uh, in time to Dallas, 1963 again. What if JFK wasn't JFK? So these are like story ideas. Early space flight, utopia, advanced technology, and blah blah blah. I don't want to read all this. Let's see. Magic bullet theory. Blah 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 blah. State of emergency in Dallas cancels on a day. All right. <clears throat> so, Dad's stories. Book. Benjamin Almond, The Killing of JFK, A Theory. You've seen the movie Discover the Truth, an important new book 
Look at the circumstances surrounding one of the greatest tragedies of our time. And I can't read the top because it's too dark. Oh, there's a combination. Hmm, I wonder if I can... Oh, crumpled pages. John Russell opened his eyes and saw them, the stars, twinkling as if he were lying on the grass in his family's yard in Massachusetts, even though that place was a million miles away. No, he blinked the sleep from his eyes, looking through the carbon-reinforced safety glass of the space station Archimedes. Yes, he was a very long way from home. But the future needed him. John Russell's head swam. He felt incredibly drunk, despite not having touched a drop in hours. He vomited into his feet, onto his feet, his bare feet. He stared for a moment, processing his sick, flecked toenails, scanning up his bare shins, bare knees. He was completely naked. He looked up and met the eyes of a gorgeous blonde woman wearing a tight polymer fiber tunic. The fabric that strained at the seams to contain her generous bosom was emblazoned with the phrase, Master Transference Operator. Then he passed out. So, yeah, in 1995, people actually used typewriters, but now they would use computers. Although... I think a lot of people in 1995 used computers, but it was probably younger people and older people would still be using typewriters. Let's see, because I know I was using a computer back then. I wasn't writing books though, but I was definitely using a computer. I'm a computer lady. I like to use my computer. Oh, I got a fan. That's cool. I need to find that combination. You know, what, what's the combination? that need to have the combination on this piece of paper. Let me read the piece of paper. No. Three ring binder. Let's hope he didn't have women in that binder. Because then he'd be a sexist. And I read that one already. Okay. Oh, there's something up here. A bottle. More Irish whiskey. Come on now, give me the combination to the safe. Right? So I can open that safe. Oh, it's a four digit, four digit number. So that's what we're looking for for the combination. Need a flashlight. It's too dark. 
This looks like, uh, more of his books that didn't sell. And this looks like it's the, uh, library or something. Examine Magazine! True stories. I was a teenage drag queen. Readers, tell us about their worst moments. 90210, does anybody still care? The male gaze and how to subvert it. They're a host, not gathering moss. I can't rotate the magazine, okay. Poster, pin, magazine. A book. Stranger Under My Roof, the number one best-selling advice book for parents of teens. Dr. Elisa Medina. The teen years are fraught with change of all types, physical, mental, emotional, and spiritual. But these changes don't just affect your teen. Your teen's turbulent years are a challenge for parents as well. Maybe the biggest challenge you faced with having children. This book holds insights into your teen's behavior. From the very beginning, as he or she first enters adolescence, up through the end of the teen years, as he or she enters young adulthood, the practical strategies here are based upon well-tested principles of pediatric psychology presented by Dr. Elisa Medina, herself a mother of two teenagers, prepared to gain new tools for establishing a productive, healthy, and loving dialogue with the stranger under your roof. Uh huh. Okay, so I'm getting the, the idea that Sam is a bit of a troubled teen, definitely a troubled teen. So we could have, oh, that's the code, 0451, let's look at the letter. Dear Terrence, November 1st, 1994, David asked me to write you regarding the reviews you've been submitting the last few months. Frankly, they're becoming more trouble than they're worth from, from an editing standpoint. There's a word limit. It's your job to stay under it, not mine, to cut back to it. Even then, it's becoming harder and harder to weed out the tangents and non sequiturs from the usable copy without heavy rewrites. The readers of Home Theater Aficionado want to hear about the quality and value of the hardware, not ruminations on your childhood. If it were up to me, I wouldn't be writing this letter. I'd just be cutting you loose. There's tons of guys half your age who would take half your rate to write stuff I could actually use. But David's known you a long time and he's the boss, so I'm giving you one more shot on his say-so. You should write him a nice note thanking him for his patience and generosity. Look through your old stuff and start submitting re re reviews like that again. Then everybody will be happy. Signed, Brent Kirkwood, Reviews Editor, Home Theater, Aficionado Magazine. 0451 must be the combination. So we have discovered the combination. Do the save. I'm pretty sure. What was it? 04? Now I've forgotten what it was. Let me go look at it again. I wish I could run faster or walk faster. 0451. Okay, 0451. 0451. 0451. 0451. 0451. 0451. Read document. Kuba looking wise, attorneys at law. Dear Mr. Mason, please find enclosed your original document and a typed copy for your records. The notarized copy has been filed at our offices. Thank you for entrusting our firm with this important matter. Sincerely, Jeffrey Wise, Kuba looking wise, attorneys at law. Will and testament. I, Oscar Mason. Possessing full competence of mind and memory, and after full survey of valuable items to my name, to hereby declare this document my last will and testament. 
The following shall hold true upon my passing. One, I declare that I am a lifelong resident of Boone County, that I am unmarried and have no children. Two, I declare that I have no outstanding debts to my name, to any creditors living or dead. Three, I do hereby bequeath every item of value of which I may die possessed, including the dwelling and surrounding acres located at Arbor Hill, as well as any and all personal property and money to counts, to my nephew, Terrence L. Greenbrier, Jr., of Ellis County. In the event that said Terrence L. Greenbrier, Jr., shall predecease me, then and in such event bequeath to him shall fall, and the same is bequeathed to his children as ordered by age and competence as stewards of the estate. I subscribe my name to this will, the 13th day of August, 1973, signed Oscar Mason. And this looks like a handwritten version. Um... So it looks, I didn't do a complete reading of the handwritten, but it looks to have the same contents of the typed, uh, the typed version. So my, my, uh, supposition that, uh, that Oscar was the uncle and left it to dear old dad turns out to be true. Right. So, it's been going on an hour now. I'm going to end this episode here. Hope you have enjoyed it. Please give me a thumbs up. Comment below. Let me know if you like this uh, type of game. If you want to see more games like this. If you want to see more of this particular game. Uh, if you can call it a game. It's basically a... a story um rather than a game um and uh so yeah i hope you have enjoyed it but here let's do this little closet here because it's just a little area and then i'll end the video Welcome new student, we hope you're as excited about your first day at Goodfellow High School as we are. Please be sure to bring the following with you on your first day of classes so you can get right into the swing of things. One sturdy folder with pockets for each of your six class periods, one lined notebook per period, or one large notebook with six divided sections, at least six pens and six pencils, one box of colored pencils, a standard combination lock for your locker, a nutritious lunch, or 250 for a lunch provided by the school to cafeteria and a positive attitude. Remember to get plenty of sleep the night before and be ready for the first bell to ring at 8 a.m. See you soon and again. Welcome. Signed the principal, Beth Valiance. All right. Oh my God. You are so lucky you finished high school before we moved into this house. So it's the first day of school and there I am introducing myself to the class. And I say that I just moved into the house on Arbor Hill. All of a sudden, every kid in the room turns and just stares like I suddenly transformed into a mutant. I just stood there, pushing pretty hard for a rewind button. Because now maybe nobody knows my name, but they all know who I am. The Psycho House Girl. <sighs> Great. Poor Sam. Maybe... Sam went bonkers and killed everybody, or maybe this friend Danny came to visit and went bonkers and killed everybody. Because, you know, there's got to be dead people in this house. Maybe in the attic. See you later, guys. Bye.